welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing Seven Sisters by M. L. Bullock. So stay tuned. Hello, like I said, reviewing Seven Sisters this morning. Um, now this is one which has caused quite a stir in the review section. Um, so it kind of depends where you stand on this, okay? There's lots of one star reviews and then there's lots of four and five star reviews. My personal review for this is a four star, okay? And I'm gonna explain why and I'll also explain why there's so many one star reviews for this. Now, this is the first book in a series, except it's not, it, well, it wasn't indicated on the purchasing page that uh, this is only a segment of the story, okay? So this book cannot be read as a standalone. It will leave you hanging at the end of it, okay? So a lot of people seem to go into this book not realising that they would have to read the entire series to actually finish the story. Um, and that this one does kind of just cut you off at the end which is, I understand, very irritating. In fact, yes, it did annoy me um, as well. However, however, um, it was a really good book. It was well written. I love the story. In this one, we've got Carrie Jo, um, who has this um, skill, shall we say this talent, um, of being able to, um, when she sleeps, she can get inside other people's dreams and stuff. So um, wherever she finds herself, she can experience the dreams of people who were there before her. Um, this also happens, like if she sleeps in the same bed as someone else, then she can actually experience their dreams um, herself as well. So um, in this one, anyway, she, um, gets to go to this old house, which is the Seven Sisters, um, and it's for a renovation project, which she is in charge of. Okay, now obviously being an old house with lots of antiques and things like that, um, she's getting a lot of dreams and things about um, people who in the past um, spent time in that house. Okay, um, she's also, um got a lot going on there's going to be some like betrayals and things in this as well i thought it was done really really well and the whole idea of the story i loved i thought this was really good the characters again this is the first installment but you you do get a really good gist of them um also carrie joe the fact that she has this power if you like, this uh, special talent. Um, you can see it does affect how she is with other people. Um, in the very beginning, in fact, we have her leaving to go to um, this, the Seven Sisters and everything. And you kind of want to hate her at the beginning. It's like, I did feel a twinge of guilt as I put the car into gear. I had not even bothered to say goodbye to William, my friend and sort of boyfriend. Okay, so she's very easily ditches people um, by the looks of this. Okay, so um, yeah, that sort of makes you not like her, but then as it goes on, I think you kind of like her a bit more. Um, so anyway, this is one I'd say approach with caution. Um, be very aware that it is the first installment of the story and that you will need to read the rest of it to get closure on it, okay? Um, but it is very good and I would recommend <laughs> getting into this. I would definitely be interested to read more in this series. It looks like it's quite a long one. Um, so anyway, we shall see, we shall see. But anyway, that is Seven Sisters by M.L. Bullock. Check it out. Um, whilst we're talking here, join me down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts about serial fiction um, and 
you know, these ones where you don't get the closure at the end of each book. You have to keep reading um, the whole series and things. How do you feel about those? Um, do you think that it needs to be like put up on neon lights, the fact that that is what this book is? Um, like at the beginning of the book description and things, you know, should it be? I personally think it should. Um, they should make it very clear. Um, going in transparency, it, you know, it's not gonna take you two seconds to add a little line in there um, that it is a serial and you will need to read the other books as well. Um, so I, I would love to know what you guys think about that as well. So drop a comment down below. Um, before you go, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads from the channel. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!